Let's look at another database that's important to turn to when looking for pharmaceutical information. Daily Med is a free, trustworthy drug database provided by the National Library of Medicine in participation with the Food and Drug Administration. It provides easy access to images of medications of particular drugs, of pharmaceutical product packaging, as well as comprehensive information about the pharmaceuticals themselves. So let's take a quick look at Daily Med. One thing you'll notice is that it is the information on Daily Med is written at a higher level than that that's featured on Medline Plus. So this is really a supplemental place to go, somewhere to go to find much more information about medications that you're interested in. Um, and you may want to take the information you learn from Daily Med and write it down and bring it back to your healthcare provider so they can help you to learn more about what the information you're reading is saying. So I'm going to navigate it to Daily Med, D A I L Y M E D dot N L M dot N I H dot gov. So let me share that. Great. So here I am now on the Daily Med homepage. You'll see this one is a little different from Medline Plus if you watched our last video. Again, this one is really based more for scientists or for physicians who want to learn more about medications, but it certainly can be used by anyone, including yourself as a consumer. Instead of using these specialty resources on the bottom here, I would recommend just putting in at this, at this nice handy one-stop search bar what you're looking for. So I'm gonna look for, again, the medication I discussed in the last video, Effexor. Here it is. And I'm going to click on effects or XR, which means extended release. Here you'll see several different entries for Effexor, all the different ways and permutations that it can be prescribed. For this demo, I'm going to click on the top one here, Effexor uh, extended release capsule. You'll see the package is from Wyeth Pharmaceuticals, a subsidiary, a subsidiary rather, of Pfizer. If I can click on this one and hover over it, you'll see what the medication looks like. And then here's some of the packaging information. Now let me click on this and show you what you'll find when you click on this information. Again, a black box warning comes up pretty top, close to the top, just like it did in Medline Plus. And here, if you wanna learn more information about this med, you can click on the plus sign to open it up to find much more. So here, this is used for major depressive disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, and so on. If I wanna learn more about the dosage and administration, here's the typical doses and how it's used for each of the different disorders it can be used for. Scroll down more. Now I wanted to show you in this one, clinical studies. You'll see several of the same topics that were in Medline Plus, but this does include some different things such as clinical studies. So let me open that up. Here you'll find the the various amounts of information that have been used to help gauge the effectiveness and the safety of these medications so that, they, so that they can be approved by the FDA. So if you want to learn more about how effective these are, you can take a look in this clinical studies section and see more of the evidence. Again, you may not always know exactly what the evidence is showing you, but this could be talking points that you can bring up to speak with your physician or pharmacist so that you can have more dialogue about the medication you're interested in learning more about. And at the bottom, you'll find ingredients. So if you wanna know what exactly goes into these medications, here's where you can find that as well. And again, each of these, web, each of these pages for every entry in Daily Med will be laid out very similar to this with this plus and minus set up so you can expand and contract the, the, the information on these pages to learn more about the information or the, the drug that you're interested in. On the left-hand side are related resources. You'll see Medline Plus is here. Clinical trials is a resource that you can go to to learn more about upcoming research trials or currently recruiting research trials on various medications or therapies uh, that are happening from the National Institutes of Health. So if you're interested in that, feel, feel free to click on that. As well, there's a link to PubMed. PubMed is a database of biomedical literature geared towards physicians, nurses, and healthcare professionals. But if you want to learn more about the 
information found in the clinical studies section, you would go to somewhere like Medline, or I'm sorry, to PubMed to find those studies. And that's just pubmed.gov. So again, you can also get there just by scrolling up and clicking here. So that's about it I'm going, that I'm going to show you for Daily Med. Just wanted to give you a brief overview of what it's for. And probably the most common thing you'd use it for is to find much more information about medications and, and learn quite a bit for you to bring back to your physician or your pharmacist uh, to help with your dialogues with them. Thank you.